Hello again everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be starting a new series of videos on uh, learning to solder and uh, I th thought if I was going to do that I would uh, go ahead and order a new portable soldering iron station um, something that everybody could uh, you know purchase at a reasonable price. So it came in the mail today so I thought we'd do an unboxing of it. Uh, this is an Xtronic model 3040-XR3. It's a 75 watt um, soldering iron station with a digital temperature control. Um, my main soldering iron station is a combination uh, um, pencil iron and hot air rework for doing surface mount and it's also an Xtronic. I've had it for probably five years and it's 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 served me well I've never had any problems out of it but it's uh, not within the budget of your average hobbyist <clears throat> so I'll go ahead go ahead here and get into the unboxing of course the paperwork that nobody reads okay boxes are out of the way so all right so that looks like everything um, so pretty obvious this right here is the uh, stand for your soldering iron it just goes in there like so while you're using it so it doesn't burn anything and it's pretty simple pretty heavy uh, has nice padded feet on the bottom so it doesn't slide around it's got a spot for your uh, soldering iron cleaner here um, <coughs> let's see here yeah that's glued down with double stick tape so you're probably not supposed to take that off but you know so let's see here that's a little fiddly right there that you have to that the lid hits the hits the bottom of the uh, soldering iron holder but it's not too bad so you got this brass for lack of a better term, brass Brillo pad that you use to uh, um, clean your soldering iron off, and then it looks like there's uh, looks like there's some flux. There's a block of uh, rosin flux in the bottom to help you clean off the uh, tip of your uh, soldering iron. This is very similar to another type that I have uh, that came with my other. Uh, soldering a station so that's the base um, and then uh, this part here is to hold a roll of solder I probably won't use it it's supposed to mount on the side right here for my purposes my roll of solder is a little oversized I won't be using this I'll probably just set this aside and repurpose it for something else and it also comes with a little uh, little de little little sponge I think you're uh, from the from the picture I saw the idea is you take the sponge put it upside down in the lid here uh, add water and use that for uh, to help you know when you're cleaning the tip of your soldering iron all right that's the accessories so now we'll get on to the uh, get on to the uh, actual meat of the of the thing here so this is the uh, this is the soldering iron nice comfortable iron um, don't really have any com any complaints or observations about it it's a variation of the one I've been using for many years. Uh, this looks like an updated model. Seems to be pretty nice. Um, 
from the uh, specs that I saw on their website the uh, the tip is grounded so it is uh, ESD safe you don't have to worry about uh, zapping your uh, your components when you're soldering with it it does have a, uh, a nice long cable back to the uh, to the control there you go back to the control unit um, <coughs> Control unit looks pretty nice. Um, got a little dial here for uh, setting your temperature. On off switch and a uh, switch at the top to uh, switch between uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit for your temperature display. Um, let's see. The, uh, the wire between the little control control box and the soldering iron eh, just rough measuring looks to be somewhere in the neighborhood of four well oh, somewhere between four four and a half feet that's uh, pretty reasonable um, and then the uh, other end the other end to plug it in uh, also looks to be about uh, about four feet or so. So give me just a minute here. I'm gonna put the uh, top back on this so I don't get the little chips out of the little rosin bucket everywhere. Oh, and uh, it does come with uh, five soldering tips. Um, these do look to be pretty standard. That's the same tips that my uh, other Xtronic uh, soldering station uses. I think these are, if you need uh, new ones, they're in the neighborhood of $10 or so for a new set on Amazon. So give me just a minute here and let me uh, plug this thing in. Alright, so I got it plugged in. And uh, one thing I did forget to mention. It does come with one tip pre-installed. Um, it's pretty much a general purpose tip. Um, and it does have the uh, a much finer tip uh, here um, for doing uh, other work. So overall you get looks like you get uh, six tips. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and uh, see how it works. So it looks like um, when you, uh, regardless of what the temperature is, when you're adjusting the knob, the display will show you the uh, temperature that you're uh, set to, and then uh, a couple of seconds afterwards, it will uh, flip back to uh, reading what the actual uh, tip temperature is. So right now I've got it set in Celsius and it's at uh, 395. Um, as you can see, there's a little light right, little light right here that comes on and shows you the uh, the uh, heating element is heating or not, and it's pulsing on and off to hold the uh, hold your temperature. And It does a fairly good job. It melts solder rapidly, um, came up to temperature fairly quickly. So, uh, I mean, first impression is uh, I have no complaints with it. Um, I'll have to give it a try here to doing some uh, couple of projects, but yeah, like I said, first impressions, it, uh, it appears to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good little soldering station. Um, So, all right, that's uh, that's my uh, unboxing and uh, quick review of this uh, Xtronic uh, 3040-XR3 uh, soldering station. Like I said, I'll do a uh, probably do a project with it. I'll actually do my uh, learning to solder videos with it, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, thanks for watching, and if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.